Ho, ho, holy crap, it's the holiday season already. And in this video, I'm gonna give you five gifts that you can get that special woodworker in your life. This list includes gifts for all budgets, things just about any woodworker could use. And if you are the woodworker, you can share this video with somebody who doesn't really know what to get you. So stick around and check it out. So there are a lot of videos out there about Christmas gifts. Most of them are for pretty basic tools, but my list assumes that that woodworker in your life already has those tools. I've tailored this list to please just about any good little boy or girl woodworker in your life. I'll have links in the description for the tools that I talk about, but I'll also include some tools for a wider range of budgets. So let's go ahead and get to that list. The first gift on the list is a gift card. Now, before you start hating on me in the comments, consider this. Do you remember when we were kids and somebody would give us a Toys R Us gift card? How happy we were that we could just go around like a kid in a candy store and buy whatever it was we wanted. Sure, it's not as good as opening the exact present that you wanted, but it's almost as good because now you get to make an event out of it. A gift card will give you that adult version of a kid in a candy store feeling. Now this isn't a sponsored video, call me, but a Lowe's or Home Depot, Harbor Freight, even an Amazon card will do. Basically anything that will give that good little boy or girl woodworker in your life the ability to have that kid in a candy store feeling all over again. Kid in a tool store, yeah, you get the point. And gift number two is clamps. Let's be honest, you saw this coming. No woodworker Christmas gift list would be complete without clamps. Now clamps aren't always cheap, but they don't have to be expensive. You could get these parallel clamps, which are useful in many different cases, but this brand in particular is Bessie. They're a little more expensive than say a Harbor Freight F style clamp, which is pretty cheap. Now when it comes to clamps, size matters. Get your head out of the gutter. This is a family show. So you may need to get insight into what projects your woodworker likes to do in order to get them the right size clamps. Since they come in all shapes and sizes and types and prices, I'll put some links in the description below that will give you some options for what to buy your woodworker. But you really can't go wrong with something like a Bessie parallel clamp because it can be used in a lot of different ways in a lot of different projects. So if you have some insights on what kinds of projects your worker likes to do, you can get an idea what to get them. So option one is you can take a look at their clamp rack and see what they have the most of already and you can get them more of that kind. Or option two, see what they have the least of and get them those kinds so that you can round out their clamp collection. Either way, every woodworker can use more clamps of just about any size. But if I were to give you one recommendation for a clamp to stay away from, it would be these small squeeze style clamps because they don't really have a lot of utility in a lot of different projects. Tool number three on the list is my personal favorite, the Mighty Track Saw. This is the easiest and quickest way to make precise cuts, especially on plywood. This has got to be my favorite tool in the shop. I use it for just about every project, whether I'm breaking down plywood or not. Now I've experimented with all kinds of ways to make cuts quickly and accurately with other methods and tools. I've tried straight edges. This one in particular clamps on to either side of your plywood and it gives you a straight edge, but it requires measurement from this straight edge to your blade, which sometimes can be inaccurate. You can also try homemade ones like this, which you can ride your circular saw on, and it means that you can put this edge down on the exact line that you want it to cut. But sometimes it can be inaccurate as well. Now Craig makes a pretty affordable version where you put an attachment on your current circular saw, and then it rides along their track system. The problem with this is you lose the ability to do straight cuts with your circular saw unless you're willing to take this on and off. For me, this was the best solution outside of a track saw system like this. Now this is more on the costly side, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. I wish I had bought this tool way before I did. I don't even know why I have this anymore. Might as well use it for scraps or something. Now item four on the list might surprise you a little bit, but I absolutely love these things for inside and outside the shop. And that is noise canceling headphones. Now everyone knows you're supposed to wear hearing protection around power tools. I originally bought these because I wanted to listen to my music without outside noise, use them on travel, and that's what I use them for still. 
Now you can get that woodworker in your life a generic set of hearing protection, but I personally don't like to listen to my own thoughts, so I need something playing in my ear. There are also versions of Bluetooth noise canceling headphones for woodworkers, but that's all they would be used for is out in the shop. You can level up your gift giving game with a version that they can use outside the shop as well. I originally got these about seven or eight years ago because I'm borderline ADD and I'm easily distracted. Now that I have more kids and they're older, I can tell you I really appreciate having these. But it's really nice when you're in the shop to be able to listen to your music or podcasts or audiobooks and not have it all drowned out by the power tools. So if you want a home run of a gift, this is it. All right, let's talk about some things not to get that special woodworker in your life because you don't want to disappoint them. The first thing is usually you don't want to get them something they already have, like tape measures, routers, guns, or maybe you can get them more guns. Definitely, it, when in doubt, more guns. But if you want to get them a really good gift, your best bet is getting them a gift that they don't already have. Number two, you don't want to get them basic tools if they're experienced woodworkers. They probably have all of them already. I forgot to move the reindeer. It's good. I would also stay away from getting them something like replacement saw blades, especially if you don't know what they need. You don't want to buy them a 10 inch blade when they need a seven and a quarter blade or buy them a reciprocating saw blade for Christmas only to find out they don't even have a reciprocating saw. Or worse yet, you get them a blade and so they think that there's going to be a gift of that kind of saw coming and then they're disappointed when it doesn't come. That's like a double disappointment. You definitely don't wanna do that. So save yourself the hassle and just don't do it unless you know what you're doing. And the final thing I'll say is don't make them something out of wood, especially if you're not a woodworker yourself. Now I will say there is one exception to this rule, which is actually gift number five on this list. This last gift could be the best gift that you ever give somebody. And it especially applies if they're a parent or a grandparent. And that is to get them something sentimental. Now I'm not talking about getting them a shirt or a coffee mug, although there's some pretty witty shirts out there and there's some pretty nice coffee mugs out there. But what I'm talking about is something handmade that reminds them of their kids or their grandkids. Now I have to give credit to my wife for this one because she's the one who gave me the inspiration for this gift. Eight years ago, my wife bought these saw blades and put the kids handprints on them and then wrote a message on them. Now I have cherished that gift ever since. And you can see I still display them right here. It's really cool to have a reminder of them out in my shop. You can also have their children or grandchildren build them something out of wood too. It's something else that's cool to remind you of them when you're out working in the shop and display on your wall if you want to. So use your imagination, come up with something that shows them just how much you appreciate them and that might be their favorite thing in the shop. All right, so that's it. Let me know what you think about this list and let me know what else you would add. If you have a must have tool, go ahead and put it in the comments below. So as the holiday season progresses, Keep an eye out for sales so that you can get the best deal possible. And Matt Outlaw over at 731 Woodworks keeps an eye out for tool deals all the time. So I'll put a link in the description for his website and his YouTube channel so you can go check that out. That's it for this video. We'll see you next time. Basically anything that will give that good little boy or girl toolmaker, toolmaker, I just, we're not elves, toy maker. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it all in one shot. Okay. No woodworker gift Christmas gift list. No woodworking gift Christmas gift list. No Christmas list gift. No woodworker gift Christmas list. Oh my goodness. <coughs> yeah, that's, that's good. That's going to be on camera now. <clears throat> and since I had two circular saws, I could keep this one on here and then use my circular saw for other applications without having to turn it, trade it out, in and out. That is a really heavy saw. There's nothing worse than getting a reciprocating saw blade and you don't even have a reciprocating saw. That's, that's hard to say.